Hey guys, hi, uh, it's Farage here. Welcome to my channel. Well, as you can see, I'm in my uniform right now, so I'm about to go for clinicals. But before I go, I just feel I should talk about something, um, which is more or less it's a question that one of you asked me that what's the. I had a student message me, I was like, what's a quick way to screen for depression um, during a rotation? So as we all know, during a psych rotation, it's very important to know the questions that you need to ask in order to be able to screen for depression. So the mnemonic we use is MSIGCAP, M-S-I-G-E, and C-A-P-S. So the M is for mood. You're assessing for, you're asking questions about their mood. If they are happy, if they are sad, how's your mood? So basically just ask how's your mood. So the M is for mood, the S is for sleep, the I is for, the uh, eyes for uh, interest, and the uh, G is for guilty feelings, E is for energy level, the C is for concentration, A is for appetite, P is for psychomotor retardation, and the S is for suicide. So basically what you have to do is that when you're asking questions and you want to quickly screen for depression, this mnemonics is nine letters, all right? So sometimes if, you, if the patient answers yes to at least five out of these nine, and this five, the yes to five of these also have to include um, their mood and their interest, all right? So basically once they have a score of five out of nine, then it's likely that they are depressed, all right? So how do you ask this question? If you're asking for mood, you can ask the patient, how do you feel today? How's your mood, all right? And let the patient explain their mood in their own words. So if the patient says, oh, I feel good, you know, I'm feeling really happy, then probably it's unlikely that they're depressed. But again, for completion's sake, you should just ask the entire question that is found in the MCH caps. So you want to ask, how's your mood today? How are you feeling today? See if they respond by saying they're feeling sad. Uh, if they say they're feeling down, you want them to rate their mood on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best of mood and 1 being the lowest of mood. All right. And then if the mood is poor or is low, then you want to move on to assess. You want to assess why, but because you're trying to quickly screen, you also want to move on and assess the sleep. How's your sleep lately? Um, and they will tell you, oh, my sleep has been poor or my sleep has been good. If the sleep has been poor, you want to ask how how long do you sleep for? So maybe they say they sleep for three hours and you want to find out what's their baseline, what's the usual amount of time that they sleep for. Maybe someone used to sleep for eight hours regularly, but now they're sleeping only three, four hours. So there might be something that's causing that, maybe anxiety, maybe depression. Or maybe they used to sleep for six hours, but now they're sleeping for 12, 13 hours. Oversleeping can also be a sign and symptom, a sign or a symptom of depression. All right. And you also want to ask questions. You want to find out if the G, moving on to the to the I, the interest. So we have done M for mood and we've done S for sleep. We want to move on to I for the interest. So you want to find out what are their hobbies, what are things that they have interest in. And maybe they have hobbies, maybe they like painting, maybe they like traveling, maybe they like hiking. And you want to find out if they still have interest in anything at all. And if they indicate that they have no interest in anything that used to be of interest to them, that's what we call anhedonia. So it means loss of interest in everything, all right? So if they are mentioning losing interest in everything that used to that used to like, it could be a sign or a symptom of depression. You want to move on now to the G, guilty. You want to find out if there's anything that they feel guilty about in life or they feel regretful about or remorse about in life, all right? You also want to move on and find out how their energy lately. Is their energy level low, all right? Or is it more than usual? If it's more than usual, which means that they, have, they feel like they are very hyperactive and they have a lot of energy, it could be a sign of uh, mania, which we will talk about in the next video, how to screen for bipolar and mania. But in most cases in depression, their energy level tends to be very low. They tend to feel tired all the time. Now, there might be other causes, other organic causes, right? Hypothyroidism, other met met metabolic causes could be the reason. But in the absence of that, Depression could be a cause of feeling fatigue and feeling tired all the time. So moving on, we've talked about the M and the S, I, G, and E. So we're moving on to the CAPS part of the MCH CAPS. You want to assess how's their concentration? Are they having trouble focusing on things these days in life? Any difficulty in concentrating? All right. You want to ask how's their appetite? Are they how's their appetite? Is the appetite poor? Are they not eating much? Or are they overeating as a way to compensate for an anxiety or underlying depression? You also want to find out if they're very active or if they're very passive. 
physically how's what are they doing are they proactive in life or are they usually very very just disinterested in life so you're assessing psychomotor retardation in that case and you also want to do a suicidal evaluation you can you sometimes you can ask directly or you can be you can be indirect in the sense that you can ask you can say you know sometimes people that are experiencing these symptoms that you've mentioned feel like it's a lot of burden and they tend to feel like a burden to others and they feel like there's no way out and they tend and they tend to want to find an exit out of this feel this life so sometimes they do that by hurting themselves you know or by just taking their life have you ever felt this way you know so that's a way because sometimes when you ask so directly sometimes patients can be defensive but when you make them you kind of normalize the experience and make them feel that other people have gone through this and sometimes they feel like taking their life and have they felt that way before ensuring that your tone is very sensitive when you say this and it and shows empathy they tend to open up and they appreciate that and if they say yes so they, they've thought about it which is suicidal ideation you want to find out if they have made any plans to carry that, if they've written any notes, or if they have ever, ever, ever attempted it before. And you want to do a more detailed suicidal risk assessment. So MCHCAP is normally this quick screening test for depression. And this is what, this information I'm giving are based on just my own experience, all right? And these, there are other ways, but these are ways that are subjective, suggestive of someone that may have depression. So I'm late now for clinicals, but in the next video I will talk about screening questions for bipolar 1 and 2. Alright, so keep following my channel, like and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.